chapter 1, Mishnah 2. A Zav of two or more discharges must count seven clean days before he can purify himself. These clean days must be free not only of Zav discharge, but even of a discharge of ordinary semen. However, there is a difference between what happens if he has a discharge of semen during the clean days he is counting, and what happens if he has a discharge of Zav. If he has a discharge of Zav, even toward the end of the seventh clean day, the entire count is cancelled, and he must begin counting seven clean days all over. As learned from a verse, a discharge of semen, however, cancels that day, but not the clean days that were already counted. Thus, for example, if the Zav had a discharge of semen on the seventh clean day, he could not count that day as clean, but he can continue with his count the next, on the next day. If the next day the eighth day is clean, then that is his seventh clean day, and he can purify himself. In other words, a Zav discharge cancels, uh, cancels the entire count whereas a discharge of semen only interrupts the count. All three agree that this is the law for discharge of semen on the fourth clean day or later. The day of the discharge of semen is not clean, and the count can't continue with the following day. Our Mishnah discusses what the law is if the Zav has a discharge of semen before the fourth clean day. And we now turn to the words of the Mishnah. If someone who is a Zav has a discharge of semen on the third day of a seventh day count, of clean days to purify himself from his of. Base Shammai say that he forfeits not only that day, but also the next, but also the two days that are before it, days one and two. On the next day, he must start the seven day count over. But Base Hillel say that even if he has a discharge of semen on the third day, he forfeits only that day of the discharge. He does not lose the clean days that come before, that came before. The Mishnah said that Beis Hillel said that a discharge of semen on the third day cancels out, cancels only that day. But what would Beis Hillel say if the Zav had a discharge of semen on the second clean day? This is a dispute between Tanaim. Rabbi Ishmael says if he has a discharge of semen on the second clean day, even Beis Hillel agreed that he forfeits the day that was before it as well. But Rabbi Akiva says Beis Hillel will argue whether he has a discharge of semen on the second clean day or if he has a discharge of semen on the third clean day. In either case, there is a dispute. In that Beis Hillel may say that he forfeits the two days that are before it. If he discharges semen on the third day or one day before it, if he discharges semen on the second day. But Beis Hillel will say that he forfeits only that day of the discharge. Beis Shammai above spoke only about a Zafu as a discharge of semen on the third clean day or earlier. The Mishnah therefore teaches. But Beis Shammai agree that if he has a discharge of semen on the fourth clean day or later, that he forfeits only that day and not the entire count. The Mishnah explains further. The entire discussion above about how many days are cancelled... The Mishnah explains further. The entire discussion above about how many days are cancelled is only where he discharges semen during the clean days. But if he discharges Zav, then even if he does so, on the seventh clean day when his count is almost complete, all agree that he forfeits all the clean days that came before it. In order for Zav to purify himself, he must have seven uninterrupted days that are free of Zav's discharge. If he has a discharge of Zav any time during the seven clean days, even at the very end, he must begin his count of seven days all over.